guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install Windows 3.1 inside of a virtual machine. So I'm going to have all the links that you're going to need down below in the video description and this is going to be a link to the Windows 3.1 zip file which will have all of the uh, floppy disk images that you'll need as well as an MS-DOS boot disk. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's just get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up uh, your virtual machine software. Now I'm going to be using VMware Workstation. You can of course use whatever software that you have or if you have like an old PC that can install Windows 3.1 you can obviously use that as well. So you're just going to want to click on create a new virtual machine. So here in VMware uh, we have these options for typical or custom. I'm going to go with the typical option and select next and you're going to want to select I will install the operating system later and click next and for the operating system obviously you're going to want to select Microsoft Windows and the version as Windows 3.1 which is all the way down here at the bottom and then you're going to want to press next and you can name it anything I'm just going to call it Windows 3.1 uh, I'll just call it video because apparently I already have a VM with Windows 3.1 installed so we're going to click next and for the hard disk size, you can set it as anything that you want. I just like to store it as a single file. And for the maximum disk size, I usually like to take the VMware preset and cut it in half. But if you want to give it a bunch of space, you can obviously do that. So I'm just going to make it 4 gigabytes, And select Next. And then you want to click on the Customize Hardware option. And what you want to do here, for some reason, VMware by default now doesn't create virtual machines with a virtual floppy drive so if you don't have one of these and you're in VMware you just want to click on the add button then what you want to do here is you want to select on the floppy drive option and click next and you want to select on use a floppy image and click next and in here you first want to browse to the MS-DOS boot disks and again that link is going to be down below if you haven't downloaded that yet okay so once you have that selected you just want to make sure that connect at power on is checked then click finish and then you just want to click on close and then finish once again it's going to pop up with a new virtual machine and all you have to do here is just click on power on your this virtual machine and it's going to begin starting and it's going to boot into MS-DOS and now we're going to be running a few DOS commands so the first thing that you want to do is you want to type in F disk to properly partition your virtual drive so you want to press uh, the first option which is to create a DOS partition and you want to make it the primary DOS partition and you want to uh, select the yes to use the maximum available size obviously and now you want to make sure that you have your disk inserted and press enter and it's just going to boot back up into MS-DOS and now what you want to do is you want to type in format C colon and press enter and it's going to say warning all data on non-removable disks drive C will be lost so you just want to press Y and press enter and it's going to format you just want to give it a volume label if you want to I'm, I'm just gonna not bother with that so just press enter and now what you want to do is you want to press control alt if you're in VMware to get your mouse back again if you're in another software it might be a little bit different and you want to change uh, the virtual floppy drive to point to the Windows 3.1 disk image, the uh, first disk image. Alright, and once you have that selected, you just want to type in setup, and it's going to bring up the Windows 3.1 setup. So now what you want to do is you just want to press enter to set up Windows Now, and you want to press enter to use Express Setup. And it's going to begin copying files, as you can see it was very fast, obviously because we're in a virtual machine. And now you're going to want to insert the disk labeled Microsoft Windows 3.1 Disk 2, which is just uh, disk2.img, and you would use the same process as inserting disk1. And once you have disk2 selected, you just want to press enter. It's going to finish copying those files, and now it's going to bring up uh, the sort of graphical portion of the Windows setup. So now you just type in your name and your company if you have one, and just uh, select continue, and make sure that it's correct. So just press continue again. And it's going to say that it cannot find or update your system files on drive A. And it says that if you started your system from a floppy disk, which we did, be sure to remove write protection from the system startup. All we have to do here is just press cancel because we want to copy these files over to the Windows directory, which is obviously a lot more easy if you're in a uh, virtual machine. If you're on a, a, a physical PC, you might want to consider 
uh, doing what it says here and click on retry but I'm just gonna click on cancel and now it's going to ask uh, for disk number three which is again going to be the same process as inserting disk number two and then just press on continue and it's going to copy those files and you're gonna to have to do the same thing with disk four and press continue and the same thing with disk number five and press continue and the same thing with this number six and then press continue once again it is a very slow and boring process especially if you're on a real PC but uh, it, it does go by fast if you're in a VM and it says that the updated version of config.sys has been saved as cwindowsconfig.win and it has updated autoexec.bat to be saved as autoexec.win in the windows directory which is what we asked it to do at the beginning so just click on ok and now it's going to ask you to install a printer i'm just going to select on no printer attached but if you wanted to uh, install a printer you would just properly select uh, what model printer that you have here and it would take you through uh, properly installing that driver and all of that so i'm just going to click on no printer attached and install and it's going to say they cannot read from drive r but if you just press cancel uh, or retry so I got this error that said it, it couldn't read from drive R but if you just press cancel it'll get rid of that I believe that was trying to install the printer driver we don't have those drivers so you don't want to install those so just press cancel but anyway uh, now what you want to do is, is it's going to say that it, that setup can now run a short tutorial on, on how to use Windows I'm just gonna click on skip to say video time so we'll just do that we'll just click on skip tutorial and now you just want to click on uh, or actually first you want to remove uh, the Windows 3.1 setup disk number 6 and put back in the MS-DOS 6.22 boot disk so that it can properly load DOS again. Alright, and now you can click on return to MS-DOS and now you are going to be presented with the C colon slash Windows prompt. So to boot into Windows 3.1 you just want to type in Win and it's going to boot right up into a pretty familiar desktop for those of you who have used Windows 3.1 and if you haven't this is what Windows 3.1 looks like it's very basic you know it doesn't look anything like Windows 95 obviously this was before um, they introduced the, the start menu so everything was contained uh, in this application called the program manager and this is how you would run all your files uh, you can use things like the file manager to browse all your files on your hard drive and you can actually run files from here if you want to so let's say that I, I want to run uh, the, the calculator right here you can see that I can run it from there and it works perfectly fine just like normal click on close it'll close out of that and I'll also do a help about Windows or about program manager to show you uh, this is the Microsoft Windows program manager version 3.1 copyright 1985 to 1992 Microsoft Corporation and yeah so that's pretty much the program manager of course you, you can go through here and run all these applications but that would you know take a little bit of too much time to put in the one video that's already like a whole tutorial so if you guys want I can do uh, like a whole separate like Windows 3.1 uh, overview kind of video but um, so yeah guys you know thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you guys enjoyed uh, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know any ideas that you guys have uh, for future videos in the comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.